Magandang gabi po. Good evening. Good evening po. Ako po si Hil Katcha. Isa po ako sa online healing and transformation coach ng RCWFI. Ang mga modalities pong ginagamit ko ay scalar prana therapy for energy healing, neurolinguistic programming, Uh, family Constellation at Ignatian Spiritual Direction. Sa mga meditations po na gagawin natin, na ginagawa ko, ay ini-integrate ko po lahat itong mga uh, modalities na to, Yung Energy Healing, uh, Neurolinguistic Programming, Family Constellation, at Ignatian Spiritual Direction. Para po sa gabing ito, for this evening, We will be discussing uh, meditation as discernment. Okay. Now, bakit po ba mahalaga na pag-usapan po na natin itong meditation as discernment and then later on po makakaroon tayo ng uh, med- uh, discernment meditation para malaman po natin yung mga techniques na magagamit natin para ma- mag- magawa natin med- ang discernment ang meditations natin. Okay. So, una-una po, uh, crisis is an opportunity to learn karmic lessons. So, kapag po tayo nakakaranas ng mga sakit, problema, mga isyo sa buhay, uh, ang kalimitan po na, na, na naiisip natin na itong mga crisis na to ay parang parusa. na kaya tayo naghihirap, kaya tayo nakakasakit dahil pinaparusahan tayo. Uh, sa akin po kasi, ang isang perspektibo ko po dyan ay medyo iba. Pero nado po yung katotohanan na bawat, bawat nangyayari sa buhay natin ay may dahilan. Everything that happens in our life has a purpose. Now, for some, parang iisipin nila ang purpose ng mga suffering na ito ay punishment. Pero sa akin po, ang nakikita kong isang... Uh, perspektibo ay ang mga suffering na nararanasan natin whether sakit, paghihirap or mga problem or mga issue ay uh, to learn our karmic lessons. Sa so, sa pamamagitan ng mga suffering na to, sa sakit na to, sa problema na to ay binibigyan tayo ng pagkakataon ng Diyos na matutunan ang mga lesson natin sa buhay. Whether yan ay personal So, nang, nakakaranas tayo ng problema dahil hinayaan tayo ng Diyos na makaranas ng problema o ng sakit dahil sa pamamagitan ng sakit na to ay may ip, gustong ipaunawa sa atin ng Diyos. Whether na personal, sabihin sa personal na buhay, may mga karma tayo na kailangan matutunan, may mga karmic lessons tayo na dapat matutunan, Even sa pamilya, kung may mga nangyayari sa pamilya, meron tayong mga family karmic lessons na dapat matutunan. At even sa national and even a world, uh, world uh, wide level. Kagaya na nangyayari sa atin ngayon sa COVID situation. Na bakit ba uh, naranasan ng buong mundo itong COVID situation na to? So, ibig sabihin, hinayaan, hinayaan, ano ba yung purpose ng COVID situation na to? Hinayaan, uh, bakit hinayaan ito ng Diyos? So, kung ang mga nararanasan natin ay ang isang dahilan nito ay upang may matuto tayo sa karmic lessons. So, ang isang ano dito is, we will learn our karmic lessons through listening and discernment. So, ibig sabihin, para matutunan natin yung karmic lessons natin sa mga nararanasan natin sa buhay, kailangan na makinig tayo at mag-discern. Ang karamihan nangyayari kasi sa atin pag nakaranas tayo ng mga problema, sakit, o hirap, ang kalimitan natin unang ginagawa ay sa pagdarasal natin, hinihingi kaagad natin na i-heal tayo o hinihingi lang kaagad natin na, na i-transform tayo o i-resolve yung mga problema. Pero nakikita ko kasi dito, even before we ask for healing, for transformation or for the resolution of our problems, kung ang bawat nangyayari sa buhay ay may purpose, 
Siguro napakahalaga muna na malaman natin kung ano ba talaga yung dahilan, ano ba yung purpose nung mga karanasan natin. Ba? So, ibig sabihin nito, kailangan talaga natin na i-discern. Ano ba yung karmic lesson? Ano ba yung purpose nung uh, karanasan natin? Nung what we are experiencing? What's the purpose of our experience? What's the karmic lesson that we need to learn? Whether yan ay personal na sa buhay natin. So, ano ba yung bago tayo magdasal na for healing of, uh, healing of our personal sickness, first we really need to, to ask for understanding, to know the lessons that we need to learn, to understand the purpose of our experience. Kasi, ang problema, kung hindi natin matututunan yung lesson, kahit anumang dasal ang gawin natin, siguro maaaring mamitigate yung suffering. Pero hindi siya totally mawawala. Kasi, kailangan ma-fulfill nung experience yung purpose niya. At kung ang purpose niya is for us to learn our lesson, so napakahalaga na matutunan natin ng lesson para totally ma-resolve yung experience. Whether this is in our personal life, family life, or even in a community or social situation. Okay? So, at ang kaya mahalang ka dyan is yung third, ano? We listen and discern in our prayer and meditations. Sa Catholic tradition, may tendency tayo na yung tiyatawag nating acts, di ba? Na uh, adoration, contrition, thanksgiving, and supplication. Minsan nalilimutan natin na ang esensya talaga ng panalangin is makinig eh. Meron nga akong isang nabasang libro yung sa opening to God ni Thomas Green na natuwa ako nung nabasa ko yung section na Prayer as Discernment. At to totoo naman eh. Na ang pinakang importante talaga is sa panalangin. Ang pinakapuso ng panalangin, the heart of prayer is discernment. So that we will be able to know God's will for us. So let our meditation or our prayer have that characteristic of discernment, listening and discernment. That in our prayer, the first thing that we need to do is really to listen and to discern. Now, do sa gagawin nating uh, meditation exercise for tonight, uh, siguro, bago ko i-discuss kung ano ba yung gagawin natin, uh, itong series of meditations na to ay ginagawa natin habang tayo nasa lockdown because of the COVID crisis. Ngayon, kagaya ng mga nasabi ko sa umpisa, bawat nangyayari sa buhay natin o sa buhay ng mundo ay may dahilan. Natutuwa ako na dahil sa crisis na to, marami ako nababasang mga mga sayings, na mga, 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 mga postings, na talaga na nakikita natin na maraming tao ngayon na talaga nagdadasal. Uh, they are really relying on God. Na uti-uti nilang nakikilala uli ang Diyos, ang kahalagahan ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Pero minsan kasi I would just like to share you some of my reflections. Ang sa akin kasi fundamental question eh, natututunan ba talaga natin kung ano yung mensahe ng Diyos sa nangyayari sa atin ngayon? Sa tingin ninyo, natututunan naman na sangkatauhan, is humanity really learning the lesson that we need to learn in this COVID crisis? Kasi, kung hindi natin matututunan yung lesson natin, eh, baka tumagal itong crisis na to, di ba? So, siguro doon sa gagawin nating meditation uh, as discernment, um, Although itong meditation na to is pwede mong gawin para sa personal mong crisis, para at least mag malinawan mo kung ano ba talaga yung lesson ng Diyos sa personal na dinadaanan mo sa buhay. Pero siguro, ang isa natin sa exercise na to, ang ano ko siguro is, uh, ano ba yung mensahe ng Diyos sa COVID crisis na to? Na para kapag nalaman natin kung ano yung lesson na gustong ipatuto sa atin ng Diyos, at ano yung kalooban ng Diyos sa krisis na to at kung paano tayo tinatawag ng Diyos na harapin ang krisis na to 
at least yung mga panalangin natin, yung mga meditations natin, will be more aligned sa gusto ng Diyos. Ba? At mas madaling makaresolbahan kung ano man yung nararanasan natin ngayon. Kasi, ang nakakatakot kasi nito, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Na kung hindi talaga natin matutunan ng lesson natin sa mga sa COVID crisis na to, something far greater will happen. And uh, to, uh, to avoid this, so we really need to meditate and discern ano ba talaga yung lesson na gustong ipatuto sa atin ng Diyos sa COVID crisis na to na nangyayari sa buong mundo. And at the same time siguro is ano ba yung kalooban ng Diyos? Lalong-lalo na kung ano ba yung tawag ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. Now, to do that, ang gagawin nating uh, exercise is una, dalawang parte. Sa unang parte is uh, yung abiding in the Holy Spirit. So, we need to abide in the Holy Spirit so that when we abide in the Holy Spirit, we allow the Holy Spirit to purify all, all obstacles. Parang uh, linisi ng Holy Spirit yung lahat ng mga sagabal na matutunan natin yung uh, lesson natin at mat- malaman natin kung anong kalooban ng Diyos. And second also is to open our spiritual senses so that we will be more sensitive to, to see, hear, and feel God's presence and God's communication. So napakahalaga nito na sa pamamagitan ng banal na spirito, ay mabuksan natin ang ating mind, ng ating isip, diwa, at ating mga spiritual senses na para ma- marinig natin siya at ma-discern natin kung ano yung lesson at ma-discern, malaman natin kung ang kalooban ng Diyos. And second, uh, oras na mabuksan na natin is really to have a dialogue with Jesus. And as we go to a dialogue with Jesus, ang una mo natin gagawin is we, we need to ask for divine light. So that the Lord Jesus will fill our mind with divine light. And as uh, our mind is filled with divine light, and then we will ask the questions, uh, ano ba yung uh, lesson na dapat natin matutunan? And uh, we are going to listen to, to Jesus' response. So, dun sa abiding the Holy Spirit, kagaya ng ginagawa na natin before, we will imagine the Holy Spirit as a tongue of fire. Yeah, uh, a divine fire, a tongue of fire na babalot sa atin na, na, na tongue of fire is inside and outside of us. And then, uh, as we do sa second phase naman, when we are going to have a dialogue with Jesus, ang technique na gagawin natin dito is, we will imagine the Lord Jesus sitting or standing beside us. And in front of us is a, in front of us is a TV screen or a movie screen na doon natin titingnan kung ano yung sitwasyon na gusto nating uh, i-discuss kay Jesus para malaman natin kung ano yung karmic lesson o ano yung kalooban na, ng Diyos doon sa sitwasyon na yun. Okay? So, yun ang gagawin natin for, for the next uh, minutes. Okay. So, remember sa, sa meditation, uh, wag sumandal. Uh, wag sumandal sa upuan and sit around three-fourths of the chair so that your back will be straight. Mahal na kasi natuwid yung likod, yung spine natin so that uh, more or less the energy will flow. And then our hands, mas maganda na palms up so that we will be more open sa, sa spirito ng Diyos, sa presensya ng Diyos. And then just natural breathing and then we can now close our eyes as we begin our meditation. So let us now close our eyes. Just breathe naturally. Inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, expand the abdomen. And as you exhale, contract the abdomen. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Now that, let us remember with the, that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, we humbly invoke 
for your Holy Spirit, that you may fill us with your Holy Spirit, and that the Holy Spirit may burn everything that will prevent that prevent us from learning our karmic lessons and knowing God's will in what we are experiencing today in the COVID crisis. Lord God, let your Holy Spirit open our spiritual senses, our spiritual eyes, ears, touch, mind, and heart, that we may be able to listen and receive your communication to us, your message to us, that we may be able to sense the presence of the Lord Jesus and listen to his words more clearly and better. Lord God, we humbly invoke for your divine Son, for the Lord Jesus Christ, to be with me, to be with us, so that the Lord Jesus will fill our mind with divine light and divine wisdom and tell us the lessons that we need to learn, your will for us, and what you are inviting us to do. Lord God, we ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep your eyes closed and be aware of the presence of the Lord God. Now imagine the Holy Spirit in the form of a tongue of fire coming down from heaven towards you. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit in the form of a tongue of fire, the divine fire. The divine fire is inside and outside of you. Allow the Holy Spirit, the tongue of fire, the divine fire, to disintegrate everything that will prevent you from learning your lesson and knowing God's will. Mentally say, I release everything that will prevent me from learning my lesson and knowing God's will. I allow, mentally say again, I allow the Holy Spirit to burn everything that will prevent me from learning my lesson and knowing God's will. Now, mentally say, I allow the Holy Spirit to open my spiritual senses, my mind and my heart to enable me to, know, to learn my lesson and to know God's will and to be aware of the presence of the Lord Jesus. I open my spiritual senses now. I allow the Holy Spirit to open my spiritual senses now. Now, ask the Lord Jesus now to be with you. Lord Jesus, be with me now. Sit and stand beside me. And imagine the Lord Jesus standing or sitting beside you. Ask the Lord Jesus sitting beside you. Ask the Lord Jesus to fill your mind and heart with divine light, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Mentally say, I accept the divine light, 
divine wisdom, divine knowledge, and divine understanding from the Lord Jesus. Now, so savor and relish and feel that the Lord Jesus is filling your mind and your heart with divine light, divine wisdom, divine knowledge, and divine understanding. Now, in front, imagine in front of us either a TV screen or a movie screen and see the COVID situation that you want uh, to discuss with the Lord Jesus. It could be an image, any image that will tell you about, that will represent the COVID crisis that we are experiencing in the whole world now. Either it's a news, you see, you hear the COVID crisis that is happening worldwide. Now ask the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, what is the purpose of this crisis? What do you want us to learn from this crisis? What do you want humanity to learn from this crisis? Ask the Lord Jesus now and listen to his response. Ask the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, what's the purpose of this COVID crisis? What do you want humanity to learn from this crisis? And listen to the Lord. Be aware of what he will tell you, of what image he will show you, or what thought he will give you. You, you can ask for clarification. If you want more details, you can ask the Lord Jesus, Lord, provide details. I do not understand, please help clarify more. So you can ask Jesus, you can uh, keep on asking, you can ask for details so that you will understand more the lesson that humanity needs to learn from the COVID crisis. Talk to the Lord Jesus, ask more questions, clarify, check your understanding, if your understanding is correct, ask for confirmation. And then we ask for the second question, Lord Jesus, what is God's will in this situation? What does God want, what does God want humanity to do to resolve this situation? What is God's will? What does God want humanity to do? Ask the Lord Jesus and listen. See clarification, ask for details.
Ask for confirmation. Check your understanding. Ask for details. So that you will be sure on the message that you will receive. And now for the last question, Lord, Lord Jesus, what, how, uh, how, what, what are you inviting me to do in light of this lesson and in light of God's will? What do you want me to do personally? What are you inviting me to do personally in light of this lesson that humanity needs to learn? And in light of God's will, of God, what God wants, of God, what what God wants humanity to do. Ask the Lord Jesus and listen. Ask for details. Check and confirm your understanding. Now, continue your dialogue with Jesus. I will give you a couple of seconds to, to have a dialogue with Jesus. If you have fears, if you have concerns, share your fears and concerns with the Lord Jesus. Tell them your concerns, your fears. And ask the Lord Jesus, on his help, on his guidance, on how you are going to deal with these fears and concerns. So offer your fears to the Lord Jesus, offer your concerns, offer your anxieties and your worries with respect to the message you receive. Tell them to the Lord Jesus, offer them to the Lord Jesus, And ask the Lord Jesus on what you are going to do to deal with these fears, to deal with these worries, concerns, and anxieties. And listen again to the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, for the message that you have given me. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. And may you give me the courage, the confidence to do what the Lord God is asking me to do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord God, we thank you for sending us your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit, for, for your Holy Spirit, for opening my spiritual senses and helping me to know the to learn the lessons that I need to learn and to know God's will. Lord God, thank you for sending us your Son Jesus Christ for telling us the lessons that we need to learn and telling us about your will and what you want us to do in light of the lesson and the will and your will. We thank you, Lord God, through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now be aware of your body now. Return to your body. Be aware of your physical body. And at the count of three, you may slowly open your eyes. One, two, and three. So if you, if you have any questions uh, or sharing that you want to share, uh, we can do that. But before we do that, uh, I would like you to invite you that if you want to have uh, a personal coaching, you can uh, contact me in RCWFI so that you can arrange a one-on-one -on -one session to, to, help re to help you resolve your personal concerns. And on uh, Saturday, we will have another meditation and uh, a talk meditation and our talk meditation will be about the healing value of silence. So I would like you, I invite you to attend the, the, the another uh, healing meditation session on Saturday, 8.30. Okay. So do you have any question or anything that you want to share? So uh, would you like to share some of the messages that uh, you, you, you receive? Because honestly, this is, a, um, this is a discernment meditation. And since we, we ask God for, for the lessons that humanity needs to learn, I would appreciate if you can share some of the messages that you receive so that we can collectively discern what God wants us to, to learn in this crisis that we are experiencing. So probably you can share some of the messages that you receive in the comment section. You can comment. Okay. So if uh, if you do not have any more anything to share or no more question. So thank you very much. God bless you. See you on Saturday. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless you. Good night.